Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Yeast, Vice, whatever, I don't care, let's get started. Um, I talked with Nianu, first of all she's pretty excited about me playing this game, <laughs> second of all she also told me that it is common to out level normal enemies pretty fast. So I will try to kill this boss here for this video, if I do not make it I will level up a lot. And I will buy better equipment and stuff. Be prepared. Okay, let's see if we have a chance at Elgot. Preferably without using a healing potion. Ah, that seems doable. Sorta. I mean, he can't hit me, so I just have to wait until he's in a good spot. And then I one up and that wasn't a good spot. That that was like the the opposite of a good spot. Oh fuck. I'm way too careless. Uh. Can you please? Okay, he he can hit me if I'm standing in front of him and he does his Magic trick. Great. Exciting boss fight! Yeah, I have to spend feeling a really need to level up a little bit more. To actually do some damage to him, I mean. <laughs> if I have so few opportunities to actually hit him, then I need to make it count. Quite... Quite horribly. God. <laughs> okay. Stop winning my opportunities. Do I, do I have an item? I, I can't change items in a boss fight. So I can't even equip my health elixir! Oh god. Well, that will be fun. Can I do something against the dragons here? Can I fight you? No. Okay. Good looking game, shitty boss designs. Oh fuck this. Kill me. Load. Equip. So, I'd only use the shrine. Do I? I don't even see somehow where he may appear. At least I don't see it. There also doesn't seem to be some sort of pattern. So it's just dumb luck. Wait. I love bosses like that. It doesn't matter that I can't heal in the boss fight. Well, uh, we're standing still. Okay, that would make this boss fight a little bit trivi trivial. But... It's not a trivial boss fight, so it's okay! Ow, ow. Yes, I have to attack from a little bit of an angle. Ah. How do I use the healing push? Oh, okay. Adol Christine, that's my name. Okay, uh, that's how I. Okay, ooh, it's interesting. I mean, it doesn't really help me at all, but it's interesting. Do I use the elixir automatically when I'm like dead? That would be interesting to know. Okay, so I can stand here. Can I stand here? No. I can stand here. I think attacking from above is easier since I will most likely hit him in the back. Which does shit ton does no damage at all. I, I'm I'm fairly certain I'm under leveled for this guy. That is Oh well let's die. Let's level up. I'm not going to run around here for half an hour. Uh, if I have absolutely no chance at all to defeat him, <laughs> that's... 
Let's level up. Perhaps I buy the next level sword or so. Or armor. Haha! Die! I mean, they, they, these are 8 points of XP I get from these guys. That's okay. I can do this on screen a little bit. Do my best. And... Holy fuck. I like how they just explode in, in such a manner that's inhuman. Yeah, I think I will stay up here until I have 6,000 gold, and then I will go down into the village and buy the next level of gear. I mean, that's what I would do if I would play this game solo. I mean, it's the first time I played the game, I have no idea about the bosses, I have no idea what awaits me, and I am someone who actually enjoys grinding. I enjoy grinding when it has some sort of sense when it is in a good time frame and when I can do it constantly. I hated, for example, grinding... Uh, there were some ogres in World of Warcraft in uh, BC and you kill them and then you gain some pearl beads or prayer beads and then you could, could turn them into an NPC in order to gain reputation. Uh, most likely the ogres were camped, so it was just a chore to get one, then you had to drop a pal deed. I think you got a little bit of uh, reputation by killing the ogres, or only to a certain level, I can't remember anymore. And the thing you got at the end was a mount, so it wasn't enjoyable, because they were most likely camped. It wasn't in a good time frame, I couldn't do it undisturbed. And the reward was... Not that interesting for me. I'm not one who likes fluff items. I I want to better my character. I could sit down in EverQuest and farm for weeks to get a little bit out of it. That was fun. Strengthening my character. But just grinding for grinding's sake to get some shitty items. Some shitty mount where I can only use one anyways. Uh, <laughs> that is not my thing. That is totally not my thing. And I also prefer if I can just... Yeah, it, it, what I also like in grinding is if it's mindless. Like, I don't have to think too much. I don't have to... Oh yeah, there are these really, really hard mobs and you have to kill 5,000 of them and it takes ages to kill them and so on and so forth. Here, running around a little bit... Pff, no problem. No problem at all. Level up! What did I get? Ooh... 20 strengths or something. The hunt with crystal shells like a star in the sky. Okay. So, X on my Xbox controller is use item, but for some reason it didn't do it with the elixir. What about the... Adult drank the potion and felt more deeply aware of the sweats around him. Ungun. Is it like a... A permanent effect or... Only 35 HP, that's not much. Ungun. What are you? Are you a human? Am I killing a bunch of random humanoid guards here? That's not... <laughs> that's not really hero-like, you know? <laughs> yeah, hero shouldn't just kill random men, kill people. That's... That's not what a hero does now, does he? Usually not. And yeah, that's why I usually like to keep uh, farming sessions out of my let's plays. I mean, I would now usually watch a stream or so, watching some excessive profanity or Paladin Lord if he's streaming and so on and so forth and have a jolly good time and, well, something actually happens in my videos. Especially now that I only upload like three videos per week. I mean, it's one hour of content, and if this one hour of content is just me running around, running into enemies, then I don't know if that's so enjoyable. So, I I make this rule now, grinding, unless it 
can be somehow made interesting as uh, off my channel. <laughs> Unless it's part of the game, like, like a real part of the game. Like, if I ever, 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 ever feel like doing a let's play of EverQuest or so, then I will definitely <laughs> uh, record every single dead enemy because that is just part of the game. But the chances of me playing EverQuest are about as high as... I don't know... I will do it so between now and the heat death of the universe. So <laughs> it, it, it can be some time. Ah, 4,500 gold. I just need six and then I'm off here. And I will go to the city. Maybe I will bother in finishing off the level, but that's when I come back. Not now. And then, when I have the money, I could actually check if I can sell something. Like sell the ruby. Perhaps that's why there's a ruby in a chest up there. So I can sell it for 6,000 gold and don't have to grind like an asshole here. But! Whoops! <laughs> I mean, I do have to say that the grind is going a little, it's going pretty fast. I can't really complain about that. It is going pretty smoothly. My health is pretty low. Oh, it's messed up a bit. No bully! So is this potion permanent? I mean, that would be cool. Perhaps I could see what the uh, the wizard is all about. He has 5,000 points. I mean, I guess it's just my strength minus, minus their death to determine the damage that I do. That, that, that would make sense. And then they have... Oh, but then again, they have 34 strengths and they can hit me. If I want front, front, frontal into them, I don't know. I don't care. I just run around and kill stuff. Eight hundred more. Oh, it's a poor dog barking now <laughs> since I did that. Guess I, I hit a tone. <laughs> Oh, poor dog is dying! <laughs> ah, is there some secret behind the temple? Nope. No secrets behind the temple. The temple is secretless. Perhaps I just can't use items going bosses in general, and the elixirs are just for outdoor trash in case I need a healing there. Though I can heal myself by just standing still. Muy seltsam. Muy seltsam. Or oh, muy, muy strange. At least the enemies are respawning. In an area, it would suck if I have to change the area all the time in order to do this here. And there are pretty much, pretty plenty of enemies. I don't care about that either. Now it would be awesome if I had something like a tele. Yeah, there was some an item, wings or something. Okay. I have enough gold, let's go back to the city. I totally forgot which way I have to go, but... I'm pretty sure we will find it! Yeah, Sepik Village. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe Goban is to blame, okay? What if I go to the uh, mayor? And... Tell him that the... Uh, yeah. Do you mean to tell me it wasn't the thieves? They are not the ones who stole the silver bell? How am I supposed to believe that? Who else would do such a thing? 
I suppose there was that man in the black cape, whom several villagers saw on the mountain road. Okay. Oh, I didn't see anyone on the mountain road. Unless they talk about the mage guy. Oakrot! Rebol! Ah, that's a interesting names. What are the Dark Elves called? They do still do some damage. They're the Dark Elves. Kurloid! Was it one of these that attacked me? I forgot. I'm really not good with names, especially fantasy names of monsters that I, I don't need to remember. Oh, a map would be so awesome. So, where do I have to go? There. Is it here? It is not here. That was where I found the potion, I think. Uh, yeah, that's the right way. Then we can buy better shield, better weapon, better armor, and be much stronger. 105 strength and 90 death. Let's see what we get after buying good stuff. Of course, always one in enemies. Every little bit of experience counts. And yes, I think I will finish off the level when I'm in the mountain part again. So, where are we? There we are. Heck, I, I don't want to talk to you, haystack. Fuck off. Hi. Oh, welcome. Have ever poor channel? Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. I want the long sword. Uh huh, uh huh. 2,000 gold, yes. Oh, thank you. I don't want to talk to you. Damn it. Come again. Never. Equip. So, 105, 150. That was 10, 10 strengths only? That's not much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy armor. I want plate mail. Yeah, yeah. 2,000. And buy a shield. Middle shield. Yes. Come again. So 90, 100, 110, okay. Ah, oh, lots, lots of defense, that's good. My sword didn't change. What is up with you? The page must be seen. Me, I'm Dr. Claus. Yeah, fuck off. Uh, uh, where is the general store guy? Where was he? Up here? Do I have something you want to buy? The ruby! Large and rich in color. 1200 gold. Sure. Oh ho, thank you. I want a wing. Back to talk from anywhere in the land. Yeah, I want one. And I want a mirror. Oh, that may be useful perhaps against the boss if I can use it against him. I guess having one wing doesn't hurt. Uh, what else did I want to do? Well, let's go back. I should have a little bit better chances now against the mage. Maybe? Hopefully? I will finish off the level when I'm in the mountain road. And then I will <laughs> hopefully finish off the mage. In my face. Oh no, wait, in his face. I will finish himself off in his own face. Yeah, that's, that takes skill, I can tell you that. <laughs> BAM! Boom! Just explode, just... BAM! Gone! So let's go back to the village. Farm somewhere. That's not the, that's not the way I have to go. Right. 
Dead. No. Mit. Yes. Good. There was no shop here as far as I remember. And let's go up. So there was a, a black robed man on the mountain pass. And we are fighting a black robed wizard. Hmm, coincidence? I don't think so. Let's kill these guys. And get on one more level and then we will encounter the wizard the wizard of warriors right that's a different game <clears throat> and i mean if i still have no chance against the wizard i will just farm off screen and if i have to farm here until i'm max level <laughs> i don't give a fuck if i can't figure out the boss i just brute force it <laughs> There's, there's no kill like overkill, I can tell you guys that. <laughs> so, I just have to uh, to kill like 50 more of these, that's something. It's horrible if you if you count, that's the worst thing you can do while grinding. Counting, like, oh I only have to kill 200 more, you don't do that. You just, you shut down your head, you don't look at the numbers as much as possible. And you just go and put in some nice mind numbing music in and just Yeah, let let go let go. Don't think. I love it when you I can just grind without having to think about rotation. Mostly because I have it still in in me. And when I can just enjoy the killing and then Suddenly it's like bing and then you are like ah oh, I got my level and then you are happy That's the uh, that's the joy of grinding And I totally didn't check how much I need to, to uh, how much XP I needed for this level Because I like to grind in RPGs ARPGs or normal RPGs like until it hurts, like it takes a long time, and then usually one level more. <laughs> That's how I do my grinding. Or if I can, or if I can kill the enemies in one hit, well, which is pretty fast in this game, well, like in normal games, if I can kill enemies in one hit and then one more level. That's usually how I determine in lower levels. You can't do this in higher levels, because in higher levels enemies most likely have more hit points than you can do in one hit on good RPGs, but if you go that route, you're usually well prepared for everything. There's of course now the cries of the people who say, what about the challenge? What about the challenge? I don't know, it's just, I mean, in games like Wizardry, for example, the challenge was to annihilate monsters fast enough before they can do AOE group death spells on your party and if you encounter monsters like that and I am used to games like that I mean in Final Fantasy for example it's usually not that uh, critical to grind so much I don't think I ever grinded really in a Final Fantasy well, well in Final Fantasy 7 for example I think I did grind a little bit to gain some money. I remember killing some sandworms or so on a beach on an island. That was pretty fun. But... Yeah. And of course I grinded in Final Fantasy VII to kill Ruby and Diamond Weapon. It was kinda important that you have 9999 uh, hit points. Oh, I'm... I'm not sure if, I'm look f if I look forward to it or if I'm afraid that they remake Final Fantasy VII. Because there's a high chance that it will fuck up. Hey, let's change the mechanics of the game. Okay. Oh, it's bad now. Oh, too bad. Let's add dialogue options in there. And people were really sad when Eris died, so let's not do that this time. 
So let me it's locked, okay. I thought I could get another ruby. That would have been fun. Well it would have pissed me off a little bit because then I wouldn't have to grind, but I grinded mostly also for the experience. So as soon as I stop getting uh confused here, I will definitely save now. <laughs> Ah, oh, 30 minutes of grinding, gone. Save. Okay. Let me rest until my health is up. One hundred twenty hit points. Can I close my thanks? Um Heal potion, wing... Ah, that, that shows that I had these items already, but I sold it. Heals mind and body. Okay. Come on in! Now I have more hit points than he has. That's interesting. Oh! <laughs> Apparently he had really high death and I, <laughs> I just killed him like that. <laughs> okay, I <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Balancing, I guess. So apparently, I just had to get like one more level, and then he may have been a challenge. Well, oops. <laughs> okay, that happened. <laughs> I guess. I guess I will end this part here. <laughs> And, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, level 6, level 4 was way too low for this boss, level 6 was overkill. I guess I have to be careful, well, level 6 with better items. I guess I have to be careful, but, oh well, <laughs> shit happens, eh? Why can I have, like, 120 save points? What is the point of that, please? Holy shit. Anyways, I thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, <laughs> and we will see each other soon. So take care and hit the like button.